I'd like to talk, uh, thank the, uh, the chairman for his kind introduction and thank you very much for inviting me to this excellent symposium and meeting. The concept of the regenerative medicine refers to the cell mediated restoration of damaged or diseased tissues. Candidate cell source for the regeneration of, the, uh, of uh, include embryonic stem cells derived from the inner cell mass or brushes and the fetal cell and, the, and adult stem cells including uh, bone marrow stroma cells. Each of them has uh, both uh, benefits and drawbacks. Today, I will talk, talk about availability of marrow stroma as a good source of cell therapy. Marrow stroma uh, serves a microenvironment of niche for hematopoietic uh, cells. The scheme on the left-hand side is a morphology of marrow stroma deduced from uh, analysis of scanning electron microscope. Marrow stroma show the reticular structure and, and connected each other via gap, gap junction shown in red. The most successful cell therapy at present is obviously bone marrow transplantation in on the left hand side and one liter of marrow cells are aspirated from iliac bone of the patient, from the patient, and uh, aspirated marrow cells are injected, injected intravenously. In contrast, the cell therapy presented here is different from bone marrow transplantation at two points. The first, the aspirated cells are, ex, um, are cultured ex vivo and induced to the target cells. Secondly, the cells modified in vitro are directly injected into the target organs, here bone, heart, and brain. Then the, uh, the, this slide shows the differences of phenotype of marrow uh, mar stroma cells. The stroma cells are derived from bone marrow, and so it is quite conceivable that the cells differentiate into Born, cartilage, and fat. Under uh, uh, appropriate uh, conditions, the cells can convert, convert or to, to trans differentiate into into cardiomyocytes, my, uh, myocytes, and neurons. I'd like to show you the differentiated phenot uh, capability uh, phenotype in these in this order. So this slide shows the in vivo osteogenic activity of uh, in marrow stroma cells, KUSA A1. Marrow stroma cells are fibroblast, uh, fibroblastic in morphology and uh, very similar to the embryonic fibroblast. When the cells are injected as syngenic mice uh, in the subcutaneous tissues, uh, you can see the electron dense nodules in the all transplanted site, like this. And I made a histological, a histological section of this nodule at four weeks. So you will see the clear bone trabecular, bone formation, and also inside the bone, you can see the uh, hematopoiesis, uh, I mean the granulocyte, erythroblast and megakaryocytes. These hematopoietic cells are derived from uh, host cells because of when I label the injected cell by beta galactosidase and then injected, the, these uh, hematopoietic could not, uh, was not stained. That means this indicates that the bone was formed by the inject cell, injected cell, but not hematopoietic comes from, uh, came from host, host marrow, marrow, host marrow. It's not, it is noteworthy that uh, the, there is no sarcomatous proliferation around the bone from bone. So, the size of the uh, generated bone will depends on the, uh, the number volume of the injected cells. I use these cells to fuse the bone defect here to generate a delayed union model, a 5mm section of syngenic mice 
femur was removed of the diaphysis without uh, fixation. Then the bone was generated in the sub subcutaneous uh, inoculation of the uh, stroma cells. The generated bones, uh, generated bone clearly fused to the implanted bone here at four weeks after implantation. Interestingly, uh, it's, uh, it's quite interesting. It's noteworthy that generated bone has a dense bone trabecular com compared with a host, host, uh, host bone. We then attempted to generate a bone tissue of desired shape and sizes with a view to future clinical applications. We developed a, a poly a modified a polylactic glycolic acid collagen hybrid sponge. For this purpose, the cells are injected into the PLGA collagen sponge. This hybrid sponge was then transplanted into the abdominal cavities. Cuboidal bone was seen on X-ray. At 11 weeks, the PLG sponge turned completely to the bone. The size and shape depends on the uh, hybrid sponge. So, the marrow stroma cell can generate bone of custom shapes and sizes in combination with appro appropriate scaffold. Cartilage can be, it can be generated by marrow stroma cells as well as chondrocytes. We generated stroma cell number five. I injected these cells into the subcutaneous tissues. Cartilage formation was detected eight weeks after uh, inoculation. The chondrogenic, chondrogenic part was uh, exhibit uh, metachromacy with a tourism staining. In terms of uh, chondrocyte specific gene expression, the cells express a uh, collagen type 2 and ag aggregate as demonstrated by RTPCR. These results clearly indicate that the marrow stroma cell can generate a cartilage in vivo. The marrow stroma cell also uh, differentiates into the endothelium. The fluorescence on the injected cell, a rhodamine red of the CD31, the merge of these GFP and the rhodamine red clearly demonstrates that injected cell differentiate into the uh, endothelium. In, uh, very interestingly, the, uh, the vessels, these are the generated vessels contain the, contain the red blood cells. This indicates that the, that the vessels connected to the uh, host vascular system by certain mechanisms and supply blood to the tissues. Most stroma cells exhibit a adipocytic differentiation. Uh, let's see. Adipocytic differentiation and such adipogenic cells can be easily isolated and differentiated into the first cell at 100%. And uh, these cells were used as a feeder cells for hematopoietic stem cells and embryonic stem cells. This, uh, another, uh, this slide shows the cardiomyogenic differentiation of marrow stroma cells. The cells show the fibrocytic in morpho like, uh, fibroblast-like morphology without any induction. With the exposure to low molecular weight demethylating agent, fibrocytidine, the morphology of the uh, cells started to increase in size from the ball-like morphology, like this, and the stick-like morphology at one week. And then the, they connected with adjoining cells after two weeks and formed myotube-like myotube structure at three weeks. These myotube-like structure cells are positive for sarcomeric actions. 
I mean cardio uh, cardiomyocytes specific uh, markers.